Today, Carla Jolly and Daryl Owens share strategies for processing grief as a team. This Polaris video was made possible by the American Nurses Foundation. Thinking about processing uh, grief as a team, I thought about one time when I was called in because a long, a long time staff member died at home. It really affected the team. So the nurse manager connected with me so that we can announce it to the staff and take care of the staff as far as their grief is concerned. Processing grief as a team and creating community to be able to do that on a regular basis. This is for all kinds of teams. It can be formal teams like interdisciplinary teams like palliative care and hospice. It can be teams of clinicians in, um, based on a setting like dialysis units, ICU units, oncology, outpatient clinics. We all need community, a place to be able to process the grief that we experience on a day-to-day -day basis. So when we gather the team, Many a times we're talking about, okay, what actually happened so that we can discard any rumors. Then we talk about with the staff, what are your responses to this? What are your reactions to this? How is this affecting you? And then normalizing a lot of the effects on grief. I think we need a constructive way to hold space when we're processing as a team. And one of the ways we can do that is creating a place of remembrance. So we start with reading of the names of those who have died in the last month and create a pause for team members to be able to share um, a, a, what gifts they received from that, um, what kind of learnings there were, what some of the challenges were. We have a nurse who's an artist and she paints a tree for us, as well as providing leaves that are glued to the tree. So all of our nurses, when they find out a patient has died, can write a leaf and paste it on the tree. But this is a way of people knowing what's going on with our patients. It's also a way of the staff honoring the professional relationships that they've had with the patients who died. And then finally finishing with some kind of ritual to be able to take a deep breath in and to be able to let go of the grief and the feelings that you've been processing through that um, team meeting. This is a ritual you can incorporate in part of your framework for processing grief with your team. May our patients rest in peace. May our families find peace. And may we be at peace to continue the work that we do. Another ritual that we do is a poem that you're, you can easily pull up on Google that's called We Remember Them. We read the poem. Um, we have a like call and response. Somebody reads a stanza. If we're dealing with many people, we will say we remember them. If we're dealing with one person, we may use that person's name instead of we remember them. We remember Jean, we remember Joe. So these are two examples of rituals that you can use for staff, which helps them to process grief. Think about the family members left behind, what kind of bereavement support they might need or what kind of reach out as far as you as a team might do, whether that be a card or something more formal. Whenever you want to put together a time for processing grief, or as Carla has, has phrased it, creating sacred space for grief, you can reach out to the chaplain, to the social worker, or someone in management, whether it be one of the attending physicians or the nurse manager, someone who can bring the team together. And then you work usually as two or three in leading the process and then bringing everyone together to create that space for the processes that we've already described. Rituals do not have to be something complicated. Rituals can be something very simple, but it's an intended action of remembrance. Watch your team, know your team, and please have resources that are available for each team member if someone needs further help. 
Team sharing gives us an opportunity to share our grief and process it together as we're all holding that suffering that we witness. If we do not process our grief and continue to move on and move through um, our day, we have found that it can end up in um, moral distress, compassion fatigue, and add to burnout. It's important to experience this grief processing together because we've experienced the impact of the loss together. We remember that all of our teams are made up of human beings human beings with a history, human beings with feelings, emotion, thoughts, experiences, and we all grieve. And because of that, we have to tend to the grief. It's so important as we continue to do the work that we do with others, we have to be able to understand our grief, process our grief, and be able to move in our grief so that we are okay. Because if we're okay, we're able to help others. We hope you enjoyed this discussion. To learn more, download our resource guide about processing grief as a team 